Okay, <clears throat> questions 96. Um, questions 96 to 100. Let's go. So, um, the, the, the term gaming here really is literally what it is when we talk about gaming the system or trying to manipulate the system or distort the system in order to gain some kind of strategic benefit. It might be to do, to do with the fact that you're trying to... I mean, another term or another process that's part of gaming is this idea of padding. So you're giving yourself some extra leeway. So, for example, you might be asked, how long does it take you to actually do something? You know it actually takes you three hours, but you say it takes you four hours. So you now do it in three and a half, and you look good because you now have a favorable variance. So, really... Um, this is the answer here is is a it's very much a knowledge and you can find all this information in your workbook I'd, and workbook three I'd recommend just take a leisurely um, have a leisurely sit down and just read through that the, the theory there okay great so here we're just playing around with percentages incremental budgeting is literally where we take what we had last year and put a little percentage on it it's sort of the most straightforward way of doing budgeting especially when we're talking about events that are quite standardized um, where there's not very much movement, if you like, from year to year. So we have a public organization uses an incremental budget approach um, on an outturn basis. So we're preparing our accounts based on forecasts. Um, it says that um, the budget for electricity was 12500 from 2015-16. So we're preparing next year. So we know, we're told that this will increase by 4%. So however you wish to do it, take 4% of this and add it on, onto it, as you wish. I typically multiply my mine by 1.04. And then I'm told in addition to this, they have a new office opening and they will also have there's an, an additional budget of, um, they have to pay another £1,000. So um, find find 1.04, 12,500 times 1.04, um, 12,500 times 1.04, takes us to 13 this takes us to 13,000 add those two together that takes us to 14,000 and your answer is D so this is pretty much percentage having some fun with percentages let's look at what's happening here this authority adopts incremental budgeting again um, they have 40,000 for telephone and 15,000 for postage due to an increase in the use of email it's expected we will use 20% fewer items. So this is what we were doing. We're going to use 20% fewer. So either you say we will now be using 80% of this. So if you did 80% of that, that's what we're going to be posting, 20% fewer. We're now going to be posting £12,000 worth cost of, cost of goods. Telephone costs are subject to general inflation of 5%. So we expect this to increase by 5%. And inflation on postage is estimated at 2%. And that's kind of how we deal with that. So that just increases by 5%, general inflation, 1.05, and that becomes 42,000. And now we have, this is the new volume, but there is an inflation um, um, on top of, there is inflation on top of that, which takes us to 12, 240. And we add those two together, we get 54, 240, giving us A, giving us A. So, I mean, again, you just look at the theory. The theory, again, like I highlight incremental budgeting is where we already have a pre-existing budget. We can see that. We can see it here. We, we have what's happening last year. We do a top-up, if you like, or top-down, as you wish, or bring down a little. So he says here, uh, in one year, authority repair and maintenance was 500,000, which included, so you had 450,000 of capital expenditure and 50,000 of non-recurring. So this is not going to happen again. Um, non, it doesn't happen every year. It doesn't happen. Um, so that's the budget, making 500. That was what happened last year. And then to recur to means to occur. So this won't happen again. In the following year, it's estimated that a further 25,000 will be required to finish this work. But the question says, what will be the value of repairs before inflation is taken into account? So this will not happen anymore. Um, this is what we already have presented for this. So we will now have 450 plus 25, giving 475,000. This is before inflation. So with inflation, you would have multiplied this by 1.05. But we're told um, that this is, um, well, technically, if it wasn't with inflation, you would do the 450 times 
1.05 and just the 25,000 unless they tell you whether or not that's taken inflation into account. So the answer there would be 475. This is before, before inflation, before inflation. And finally, question 100 in this group here. It's, I think it's pretty straightforward as well. Not a bad question. Um, they tell us that this is your current situation. You're making 12 grand based on 60,000 visitors coming in, each spending an average of 20p. Cost of sales is 40% of sales, 40% margin. But things have changed. It's changed now. We expect 80,000 visitors at 18p, which takes us to 14,400. And we're expecting a 40% markup. So 40%. 0 0.4 times 14,400 takes us to 5, so a cost of sale of 5,760 brings us back to A as well. So that's question um, 96 to 100. So nice, uh, I think, straightforward questions on incremental budgeting. Look it up. Incremental budgeting is just, we have a budget for last year, and we, have, we just top up with percentages here or there. We might top down, actually, and then deal with inflation once you've adjusted, deal with inflation once you've adjusted the your figures. Cool, great stuff.